Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming out today to celebrate year number four of the Jack Lantern Spectacular. We've had 175,000 guests walk the same trail over the first three years, helping us become, as Country Living Magazine noted, number one Halloween event in the United States. Yeah, big stuff. You know, what a beautiful day we have here in beautiful Iroquois Park. A huge thanks to Mike Hallett. Where's Mike? Mike and his Iroquois Amphitheater team for hosting us today. And really for the next 24 days or so, uh, Mike, you'll be uh, hosting as we kick off this year's Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular, America the Beautiful. You know, these theme, there's, there's about 30 theme sets uh, to music and 150 intricately carved works of arts that you can see really show how much passion these guys have about their work. And most of this is by local artists. So uh, kind of keeping with the football spirit for some schools, Chris, uh, you know, if we just added a couple more speakers, we would have enough for a football team, unlike the one <clears throat> just east of here. Uh, you know, I kind of saw the Lamar Jackson pumpkin back there. You know, hopefully that's a pose we'll see kind of in January. And uh, hopefully, as we sit here in New Orleans, you know, we'll be just a little bit of south finishing out our season with the Cardinals. So uh, it's kind of been written that success is not so much achievement as achieving. Refuse to join cautious crowd, which plays not to lose, play to win. So speaking of winners and great quarterbacks, our mayor, Greg Fisher. Thank you, Marty. That's very deep kind of remarks that you just had there. Very good. I share your hope about Lamar Jackson and our great U of L team. So, welcome everybody. Uh, it's really cool to be in the fourth year uh, here because the first year we didn't really know what the fellas from uh, Rhode Island were coming down here uh, to Louisville with, but we have really embraced uh, the whole team and have really embraced, seen how they've embraced the community as well. So. For those of us that have participated in this, which I see many familiar faces here, uh, it just gets bigger and better every year. So I really think it's wonderful. We found the perfect location for it. It didn't take us long to find that here, but Iroquois Parks is, it, Park is really one of the jewels of our park system, and uh, it's just got a great home here, and it's going to grow every year as well. Uh, I want to thank everybody with Metro Parks and Recreation. Uh, you guys continue to be very close to your customers, our citizens here, our special events team as well. And I hear that time and time again about how people are just pleased with it. seems like we're working very efficiently for them with high quality, and this is another example here. So thanks to everybody for that. This has been a great year when you think about things that are taking place here in Iroquois Park. Uh, we just concluded our wonderful season at the Iroquois Amphitheater. Uh, everybody from my morning jacket to Stephen King to Michael Franti uh, played there this year. More and more people. We want to program that out as much as we possibly can. So that's grown every year so we can use these assets. Just this past month, we opened the newly restored North, North Overlook. Anybody been to the North Overlook? Well, for those that haven't, you're missing something. So go check that out. It's probably one of the best views in the city as well. And then, of course, we've got our fourth anniversary here now and seeing tremendous growth on this thing for passion for pumpkins. When we all heard that the first time, we scratched our head. And what's that all about? And we quickly learned after the first year and have learned every year since then. So this year we're expecting to be a record year. Uh, the word keeps going out. The, the weather forecast looks quite good, the extended weather forecast. We had a few challenges last year with weather, but uh, we have got through those. And I think this year we're going to see Almost close to 100,000 people, I think, is what we're ho helping for. So for those listening at home, know that we've got a well-lit trail here, uh, a safe trail, and lots of staff here, lots of good food, lots of good times as well. And what they're going to see is more than 5,000 jack-o'-lanterns and 100 intricately designed pumpkins. Uh, you never know what you're going to see when you walk down this path as well. Anything from your favorite, favorite actor or actress, a singer, villain, sports person, historical figure, you name it, it could be here. So check it out. Marty mentioned this year's theme is America the Beautiful. And I think when you, there's no place more appropriate when you think about our city in the heartland of our country. Everybody wants to be a Louisvillian, and that's why America the Beautiful is such an apt theme for here. And it's specifically in, uh, in this area, the South Point Scenic Area, 
here in, in Iroquois, along with Churchill Downs, Riverside, the Farnsley Mormon Landing, Jefferson Memorial For Forest. It goes on and on. So I love the fact that it's located here in our city. I want to acknowledge uh, Councilman Vicki Aubrey Welch, who's here with us today. Thank you so much, you. Vicki. Vince Jarbo of the Southwest Dream Team. Done so much for our community, the Southwest Dream Team. Great job. I heard uh, John Walsack with the zoo is here as well. So thank John if he's here with us. Is he here or is he just with us in spirit? Well, let, thank you anyway. John's a good man. So thank everybody for being here. And I want to thank all the sponsors as well that uh, really in the first year kind of did this on hope and then saw what a tremendous investment this has been. And many of our sponsors has been, have been back with this every year. We'll hear a little bit more about them in a second. But thank the sponsors very much for helping us put this all together. And then, of course, we've got the one and only Passion for Pumpkins. Uh, this group is incredible. And when we talk about this being the country's best Halloween event, that's pretty cool. And that's going to draw more and more people to our city that's going to spend money in our hotels and restaurants and see the hospitality that we have as well. But we wouldn't uh, have this distinction if it wasn't for Passion for Pumpkins and what they bring here with their creativity, their design elements, and, and their love for the community. I joked uh, with these fellas when they were here the first year that you guys need to move to our city. And uh, lo and behold, they did. A couple of them are settled down now. Uh, so we're glad to have you all as Louisvillians. We really appreciate that. And then this has become one of the great family entertainment concepts in the country as well. So let's say what we can do as Louisvillians, I'd like to encourage our families and friends to go and tell everybody about a passion for pumpkins and what's happening here for Iroquois Park and what you might find along the trail. This is an affordable, family-friendly event. Tickets are affordable, 9 bucks for kids, 10 to $13 for seniors, and 12 to $15 for adults. And then you can also buy your tickets online. Go to jackolanternlouisville.com, and you can get your tickets online. And if you don't want to worry about parking, Tark Route Number 4 can drop you off right here in the amphitheater parking lot on one of their new Proterra electric buses that they put into service earlier this spring. I also want to thank the Louisville Parks Foundation, represented by Brooke Pardue here today. Brooke, thank you very much for what you're doing and the team. She's going to talk in a moment about how this spectacular will benefit the Louisville Parks Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization that's doing some outstanding work raising money to support the parks in our city. But right now, let's hear uh, from Travis Reckner from Passion for Pumpkins and thank him for just this tr tremendous uh, festival that he's brought to our city over the last four years. Travis. Thank you, everybody. Um, we, as Passion for Pumpkins, are so excited and happy to be here for year four. Um, can't believe it's year four. It's gone by so fast. Uh, but, you know, we're so thankful to so many groups and uh, of the city from uh, the Parks Department, first of all, Marty and his crew for creating the path, uh, which is, you know, the most important part for our show. But, you know, uh, everyone over at the Convention Bureau, uh, everybody here at Iroquois, at the amphitheater, you know, there's so much work that goes into this year round and we are just incredibly grateful and thankful thankful and also to all the people of Louisville who've really embraced this event and given us the love that you know that we give to the pumpkin so thank you thank you for all that um, as far as this year's theme and what you're going to see uh, as you walk the path this year America the beautiful as you've heard by a few people um, we've broken the uh, show down to about 15 regions um, where each state will be represented in that region. Um, as Marty said, there'll be in the mayor, there's famous people, places, animals, uh, anything that really represents or will give you the best taste of uh, what that state has to offer. Um, I do have something which nobody is aware of, uh, breaking news, we've just found out, Marty. The fourth and final presidential debate will be held here 
That's correct. That's right. That's and correct. Marty's going to moderate it, so <laughs> be as objective as possible. But we're going to see who looks better on a pumpkin, Hillary or Trump. <laughs> Winner take all. So, but thank you very much, everybody. It's good to see a lot of familiar faces, and uh, we'll we'll give it the best we can. Thank you. Let's get ready to rumble. That's just a prelude to what it is. You know, if, if Mayor Fisher was the quarterback, Travis and the Passion for Pumpkins team, they obviously are the, the backfield with Maddie and Pauly and Bubba. I mean, you give them the ball and they absolutely will run with it. You know, Travis once proclaimed to the mayor, this was going to be the biggest, baddest pumpkin show in the universe. And as you get back to Roswell, you'll see some of the props and you'll see that he and his team have taken us to a new dimension. You know, again, Paul, uh, Pauly, Travis, Maddie, Bubba, thank you all for taking a chance on Louisville four years ago. But no team, no good team would be complete without a good front line. Someone out there knocking on the doors, helping develop sponsorship relations like Convention Visitors Bureau, Karen Williams and her team. But uh, ticket sales alone obviously would not get us to where we are. It, it, it does develop with sponsorships, and we would not have been able to do uh, our first all-inclusive playground at California Park this past year without the proceeds from this. And I'm even happier to announce that a new playground and spray ground to start very soon at Landon Park because of this show. So, uh, a second generation of giver of time and talent to Metro Parks and Recreation, Miss Brooke Pardue. Thank you, Marty, so much. And I can't tell you how proud I am to be here today representing the Louisville Parks Foundation. This jack-o'-lantern spectacular, all the proceeds from this go to the Louisville Parks Foundation to inspire donors to invest in our 120 plus Louisville Parks and Recreational Facilities for current and future generations. That's what we're here to do. And because of Passion for Pumpkins, we have been making incredible investments in the community. Marty mentioned uh, California Park. We were able to put in a $270,000 all-inclusive playground equipment there that can be utilized by the neighbors, by Wheatley Elementary, by the California Community Center. And this is is not just your average playground. This is a playground that all children and adults of all physical abilities can play side by side. The grandma on the wheelchair, in the wheelchair or on the walker, can go on this surface with her walker to play with her grandchildren. It is, it is absolutely spectacular. Um, and uh, I encourage all of you all to go and take a look at it. And I'm so glad to hear that we're getting ready to, uh, we've, we've already committed the money to um, to our next project in, in Lannan. And I was glad to hear Marty's um, announcement. So that's very exciting. But um, like they said, you can't do this with just proceeds from ticket sales. Um, that is phenomenal, um, and that's gone a long way, but what I want to make sure we do is thank individually all of the sponsors that we have of this event. Um, without them, um, we, we wouldn't be able to do these great projects for our parks. So. Papa John's, Delta Dental, WellCare, LG&E, Republic Bank, Wendy's, KFC, the Muhammad Ali Center, Kentucky Select Properties, and Girl Scouts of Kentucky Anna are all sponsors of this year's event. And I would just want to take a minute for everybody to thank those folks. Not only are you doing something wonderful your, for your community by being a sponsor, but I feel like this event does something wonderful for our sponsors too, in that uh, we do everything we can to um, promote the good work that they are doing in our community as well. So thank you so much. Um, they're only gonna be here for 25 days, folks, so check your calendar, set your date, and make sure to come out and not miss this truly spectacular event.
Thanks, Brooke. You're, you're, you make your daddy proud, that's for sure. And that's tough to do sometimes. <laughs> There's a group of about six Metro Council members, including President Yates, which are the heart and soul of Southwest Jefferson County. And although Councilman Butler, whose district we're in today, could not be here, she is well represented by Councilman Vicki Aubrey Welch. Councilman Welch, dance on up here in the spirit of New Orleans, because it's not your first uh, dance in Iroquois Park. <laughs> Very good. Didn't know I was going to do that. Didn't do any practice steps. Uh, but Councilwoman uh, Butler does want to send her greetings and her regrets that she couldn't be here. Her assistant, Susan Hughes, is here from the District 15 office. We also have Brian Matthews from the District uh, Dan Johnson's office and Barbara Nichols, who's also part-time in Dan Johnson's, but also another jewel in our crown, the Little Loom House, just a few blocks away. She represents the Little Loom House. We have lots of jewels in our crown in this area. Uh, the one in my district is Jefferson Memorial Forest, and I want to spend, send a special invitation to all of you to get out there this Saturday for a free family event, the Wilderness Louisville Adventure. It starts about 9 in the morning with a run, and it goes till about 2, and I'm not going to steal Vince's thunder because he's got a lot to say about that. But uh, I do want you all to, to come out there. It is free, as I said. But Iroquois Park is really special to me. I grew up in this area, a little bit down by Churchill Downs, but I went to school at Iroquois High School. So I spent a whole lot of my teenage days here in this park. We had our senior ring ceremony here in this park where we all had our scene. I still have mine, but it doesn't fit. But, <laughs> but uh, so this park means a whole lot to me. And I, I feel very special that now as a local leader that I can be part of the improvements in this park by dedicating our tax dollars of our neighborhood funds. And as Marty said, the Southwest and South Council members here work together as a team. All of us grew up here in the area. We all have our hearts in the area. We all want our areas to, to be much improved. And I don't see much better than this pumpkin patch, bigger than a pumpkin patch this phenomenal pumpkin patch. And I'm so happy that it has been so successful. Hopefully we will have great weather this year. And uh, again, thanks for having me here. And let's just carry on for another, oh, what, maybe 45 years or so. <laughs> At that point in time, Travis, you'd be as old as your grandmother that walks this every year with you. Uh, Councilwoman Welch, how about this little soft surface horse trail, just like uh, Aubrey's Dude Ranch used to have, just, just like them. You know, with that, I, I would like to thank uh, some other staff members, Kirk Dolan and Steve Meadows, for making sure that the other 11 months out of the year that this is available to the horse riders here in Iroquois Park, the joggers, the walkers. So a big shout out to Kirk and uh, Steve. Where are they? You know, the six council members keep dreams alive, but only one face can be the president of the Southwest Dream Team and a good friend to Metro Parks who's not going to dance up here, he told me, Mr. Vince Jarbo. Thank you, Marty. Good afternoon. Uh, to promote economic development in South and Southwest Louisville, around the area's fantastic cultural and natural attractions, the Southwest Dream Team has partnered with Metro Louisville to rebrand the area as the South Point Scenic Area. This includes creation of a full color map highlighting the wonderful attractions in the area, including places such as the Iroquois Amphitheater. This map can be picked up at many hotels in Louisville, including at the Visitor Center downtown. We encourage you to check it out and want to thank those attractions, restaurants, and businesses that have purchased ads or otherwise supported the effort, including corporate and business sponsors AT&T and Radimus Funeral Home. In addition to the Jack Lantern Spectacular, there are plenty of other events and activities that local out-of-town visitors can take advantage of within the South Point Scenic Area. Vicki had just mentioned the Wilderness Louisville Forest Adventure. It's sponsored by Quest Outdoors, and it's at the Jefferson Memorial Forest this coming Saturday, October 15th. Jefferson Memorial Forest is Louisville's community forest and one of the anchors of the South Point Scenic Area. The Forest Adventure on the 15th highlights its many outdoor adventures offering and is free to the public. Plenty of family activities, including archery, climbing, children's uh, nature play, fishing, and a 5K race to kick it off. Jefferson Moore Forest has had a 33% increase in visitors from 2015 to 2016, so that place is really starting to, to do a wonderful job and really starting to roll. 
Mike Lennings, our title sponsor for the map, is uh, they have two events coming up in October as well, including the Hot Rod Cruise Night on October 22nd and a Halloween Trick or Treat Party on October 29th. If you're looking for another unique experience, check out two other South Point Scenic Area attractions. The Little Loom House, where Happy Birthday was first sung, is hosting their Holiday in the Woods annual artist show on November 12th. And for those seeking to avoid the Black Friday shopping madness by escaping outdoors, the Go Ape Treetop Adventure course at Jefferson Moore Forest is hosting a family day on November 25th. Finally, there's no better way to get in the Christmas spirit than to ring in the holidays in historic fashion at the Old Fashioned Family Holiday Festival at Riverside, the Farnsley Mormon Landing, on December 3rd. More info about these attractions and others within the South Point Scenic Area is available at www.southpoints.org. And finally, thanks to Mayor Fisher and the South End Metro Council members that we've mentioned, this time next year we should see major construction of Colonial Gardens. Yeah. Thank you. And we hope to bring some local independent restaurants to our area, and the South End Southwest Louisville are seeing great things happening, and we're just getting started. Thank you very much. Thanks, Vince. So you can see there is a lot of great things that are happening in southwest Jefferson County in and around Iroquois Park. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention a special thanks to a couple other people. I know uh, Jason Canuel is here, assistant director somewhere. There he is, sitting on a log. <laughs> ben Johnson, I saw Ben Johnson. There's Ben. Our director, Sevy Ghost, who uh, had to step away uh, for something else. But there's one other person. Most importantly, our chief marketing slash social media parks liaison with the foundation and truly the brains behind everything else that's here, Miss Erica Nelson. <laughs> the brains behind it all. Hey, uh, John Walls, I couldn't be here, but I do want to give him a shout out because he is hosting the world's largest Halloween party. It's going on right now at the Louisville Zoo. So, uh, again, if you get by here, do a double header, go by his place. And we'll see you all back here, Jack O'Lantern Spectacular, starting tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank you.